do you how do you move through Chicago? Do do you feel like you probably got a target on your back? Hell yeah, nah, these niggas scared, man. I'm outside every day, they ass ducking. I'll never see people on live dropping my low, showing their ass where I'm at. I be from up everywhere um, you could think of. Future probably not looking too bright. What? What you trying to say? I'm saying there's only two places so they can end up being. not looking bright. I mean, I don't know if you graduated from the saying? school or not. I don't, I don't know. It's like, oh, man, just look. Is my future looking bright or not? I'm trying to say my shit ain't looking bright. So, so around what age did you, did you jump off the porch and start hanging out in the streets? Man, I'm just saying when I came outside for real, for real, I was like 18 type shit. Okay. I just turned like 18. How, how old are you? I'm 21. 21. Yeah. How can we make Chicago a better place? You can't. This shit fucked up. I ain't ducking my shit, boy. Then you want to stay? I love the rat in Boston. I'm going to move one day, though, but not right now. Some other big news that just went down in Chicago. That is rapper Little Jeff. Just started to blow up, man. RP, our buddy. Oh, bro. RP, shorty, man. No cap. I look, and he had a lot of charisma about himself. No, no bullshit. Like I had sent his video to my little lady, like cause he reminded me so much a uh, trigger, shorty. That I was like, yeah, shorty gonna be something. You know what I'm saying? I synced it. Shorty was a real star, just like, and that's what I mean when I be like, I right, we gotta start doing this for the kids because he had, had shorty had the right guidance in his life, right? He wouldn't have been out there sliding doing no hit game. He the bag. He the breadwinner. He's supposed to be the bread ambassador, like. Man, they supposed to be on his ass, boy. Hey, chill, chill the fuck out. Chill, we got this. We gonna go spank some ass. We gonna go spank that ass. We gonna spank some, bro. You chill. It's f***ed up. It's f***ed up. Man, it's f***ed up, bro. Look, shorty, I know I'm only supposed to be smoking weed on the whoop, shorty, but that's how f***ed up it is. You see what I'm saying? So, we saw, I guess, what happened on camera or whatever. Um, Lil' Jeff lost his life. Um, How has that affected you, you know, since? That's ain't one of those brothers on twins and shit. You know what I mean? Hurt, it's my brother, you know. Yeah. But it's like I can't stop. What? I'm gonna stop for. They want me to be stopped. They want me, you know. Yeah. This don't stop. I was gonna still go on. Better gonna live through us, you know. And my brother, I feel with a big ass face tinted on my shorty. You hear me? So I'm on right there. Big ass face tinted. This going up, 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 like up, up. This going up. I don't um, live a reefer. I don't live just a reefer. That's all. Getting a face tinted, your brother, right now. I'm really tight on my stomach. My brother, well, especially. Word. I appreciate it, bro, for everything he did for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm taking niggas to killing school. Class start next week. You got at least have like you got at least have two bodies though. For I ain't coming with no. You ain't got shit. I can't work with no beginners, folks. <laughs> you gotta at least have a, you gotta at least have a two. I'm gonna give y'all two minimum, a two. I'm gonna start at two minimum, cause y'all know why I'm gonna start at two minimum. Now I'm just doing it for for a tradition. I'm gonna start at two minimum, man. Two, you gotta have a minimum of two. No, anything, you gotta have two. <laughs> you gotta have a, you gotta have a minimum of two of them bitches to come to school. You just gonna sit your dumb ass in this seat. And whatever I say, do it. If you do anything scary, bitch, I'm smoking your ass. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'ma have to though, cause now like I just thought you was ready and you lied. Now I gotta kill. Bloodhound Lil Jeff explains what makes someone a killer. I say in one of his songs, you not a killer unless you got two bodies. Exactly. Now you get it. Damn. So that's real. Shit, real. So if a nigga, if a nigga caught a body on some self-defense shit, that's, he's shit, not a killer. Man. Hell no. Nah. Nah, nah, okay. You had that. to protect yourself. Yeah, you were scared you, you, for your you, you life. Yeah. So if you didn't shoot that gun, your ass was going to die. Lord, and they would be so scared to not die that they, they going to shoot out of fear. So that was a scary ass. I know niggas who didn't die. shoot that gun that time came, though. So you got to respect it that. It depends on the situation, though. But most times, it be out some fear. I was scared for my life shit. Pressure bus pipe. For real. Ooh, it's sure Yeah. So, okay, the Bloodhounds, y'all was cool. Everybody, yeah, everybody got a chain. That change. was my homie. They stole the chain, bro. We tried like he took it. He stole my homie chain. Bro, I was letting him wear the J. He come back. Like, he got into a high speed with 12. Last in, he lost it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how motherfuckers broke their little shit. You know what motherfuckers fucking with them, man. You know? Take the videos. 
I think that shit. Yeah. I was like, damn, there's six niggas out there, you know? Mm hmm. They was crazy, bro. Like, County on the motherfucking live stream on the video. Video day, bro, for real. Mm -hmm. All I see is a motherfucking they uh, head up all type of different ways. I'm motherfucking trying to think this shit a joke and run and. Seeing Shorty on the internet, this and that. Y'all know it's family, like, condolences for nothing. Mm -hmm. I know it's family. Oh, it's family. Somebody don't know about this shit. I told her I came home to Shorty, though. I don't know Shorty. Them, they grew up, they turned savage. Mm -hmm. I know they little loud. They were still on the porch. I understand mm -hmm. everybody's sad and shit, but hey, <laughs> somebody got to be sad at the end of the day. We need to get this shit together. So can you tell us, like, who introduced you to the street life? My brother. Your older brother, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and, and how was he showing you the ropes? Let me what, tell you, nigga. My crib got shot up when I was like 14. I was some stupid ass shit. The bully, that bitch flew like right past my face. He had shot the back and the front. Then they blew the car up and set that bitch on fire. Shit was bust. I ain't gonna lie, it was going on. They came from the crib up. That bitch almost hit me, dog. See what I'm saying, though? Some shit like that. That play a part. All that type of shit. Just seeing that shit every day. I was seeing it every day, you know what I'm saying? So I did everything they was doing, I was seeing that shit all the time. Just like I'm doing right now. It just I'm a part of it now, so it's different. So 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 you would say you've experienced some trauma? Basically, if that's what you want to call it. Growing up in these streets of Chicago. Cause you still young brother, how how old are you? I'm twenty one. Twenty one? Yeah. Young brother. This like this like the new this like the new generation of Chicago. Uh, I, 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 I consider y'all drill babies. Cause how old was you when Chief Keith came out? Like I was in third grade. I was watching that shit at the school. I remember that, that, uh, what the fuck the, uh, don't like. I was in third grade. We were tweaking out that shit in school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened to Lil Jeff? You've um, been through all this before. You know what I'm saying? Does social media ramp up these situations? Yeah, bro. And that's why, like, you know, it's never probably gonna change, bro. Like, when you start losing faces, who apply pressure, who stand on the business, who get the bag, who put on for the block, who stay down. Don't know nothing but go, green. Imagine LA video get, coming out the next day. Like, why, bro? Oh, my sister, bro, them niggas would've had to kill me coming through they block, bro. Like, why? Like, y'all think y'all finna troll this for the rest of my life? I'm a that kind of shit's going on you. Every day, all day, every time I see the video, I'm, I'm coming through this. So I could just imagine that how it is, bro, for the niggas who already want to keep that same energy. You see shit like that, man, I lose my mind, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. So it looks like Bloodhound Little Jeff was cremated. He was not buried. And it's almost like a lot of these parents that understand the drill music and all that, they scared to bury their kids, right? They can't even go somewhere to, like, pay their sons respect, go visit them or whatnot, because they know that the ops is gonna make fun of them, go to the grave site, piss on it, take pictures, destroy it. You know how I go, right? So a lot of the parents is not trying to give the ops no upper hand by burying their kid and have to worry about their ops, you know, going to the grave site to like mock him and all the other stuff, you know what I mean, right? And it's sad that that's what it comes down to, that you can't even bury your kid, you gotta cremate your son. A lot of people saying, you know, taking 18, 19 shots to the chest might have not left them all that well to be, you know, buried or whatnot. But he had an open casket, so, I mean, how bad could it have been, right? Like, little Jeff jumped off the porch when he was 18, man. He would have turned 22 yesterday, died when he was 21. Think about it. The kid had, what, 10, 11 bodies? In a matter of two years, less than two years, this kid done terrorized the community to the, to the point that he got 10, 11 bodies. Two of them being outside of school, 16 and a 15 year old, and one hit. It might sound like it's crazy because I'm saying 15 and 16, but them other boys is with the bullshit too, right? They were playing the same game. They got little Jeff for his watch. Little Jeff got back. Now, I know you guys remember little Jeff's Instagram story when he shared him and his mom text messages where he claims he had a let off shot outside his. Little Scoom talking yeah, about death days guys, before being set up and killed. They either go be dead or in jail, and they still decide to do the things they do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you gotta ask them, nigga. So maybe they not scared of it. What they getting out of it? What they doing? You you gotta make shit beneficial. My life, I hey, do. I, I don't think Lil Jeff was scared. 
Nail yeah, nah. If you, he wasn't. Von wasn't scared either. See, like, some niggas just don't be scared of that shit. Some niggas, you know, probably done made up in their mind. Like, that's, like, you know, like, Fulio. Man. Down in Florida. Fulio, fool. Now, why you say fool? Man, dude. Everybody <laughs> fuck with Now, why you say fool, no? He, like, that's, like, dark all over again. Dude. Damn. Lil' Scoon was shot and killed last night in Chicago. This shit crazy. You know, he real good friends with Bloodhound Lil' Jeff. We seen Tim get took. You know, this shit getting crazy. This week, it ain't been about five rappers back to back down. Regular people who kind of drop songs too and shit like that. Because Lil' Scoon was up next. There was a lot of people that felt like Lil' Homie was up next in this rap shit. And he had the opportunity to be real rich. People like Scoon, M.A.F. Tiski, these guys was buzzing real hard in the rack. They had the opportunity to really do something with this music, but they were still outside. It was even shots fired at the police. Blah, 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 blah. This shit was wild as hell. So make sure you hit the like button. According to reports, Lil Scoon was out there in Chicago, and he ended up losing his life due to violence in Chicago. See, this shit then got wicked, man. You got to understand, when you on these blocks, shit have happened, man. You know, I'm surprised those guys were still out there, to be honest. They was just too famous on the internet going viral. And then the shit that happened with Bloodhound Lil Jeff, you would have thought person, uh, people would have moved way different. But unfortunately, Schoon was still out there. According to reports, it was even shots fired at the police. Blah, 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 blah. You know, even the police were getting shot at and shit like that. You know, he was end up getting gunned down. But the crazy part is, Lil Schoon mama say that Schoon called her 11 minutes before he was killed and told her something don't feel right. Niggas around me acting weird. Niggas around me ain't right, mama. And next thing you know, he ended up losing his life. His mama got his phone, so she posting about him, saying basically, you know, it was some weird shit going on around Schoon. I'm not going to lie. I'm tired of doing blogs every day on rappers from Chicago that's dying. You know, this shit comes so fast. Yesterday was EBK Lil Wap. Today is Lil Schoon. Lil Schoon is a little more well-known. You know, it's a lot of people that felt like this guy was one year away from superstardom in the drill rap culture. But unfortunately, he lost his life due to gun violence. It's a war out there. I'm talking about everybody getting blicked down. It don't matter who the fuck you is. You can be an old lady or a kid, man. You gonna fuck around and get blicked down out here. But I wanted to bring to your attention, man. I ain't got a lot of information on this because this shit just happened last night. But, you know, he was gunned down on some sneaky shit. There's some people saying he was backdoor, you know. There's some motherfuckers on some sneaky shit with him. And uh, I could believe that because his mom clearly said it was some weird shit going on 11 minutes before he died. Said, man. But I wanted to bring it to your attention. Lil' Schoon has been shot and killed in Chicago.